The medieval period from the 5th to the 15th century, the problem is records. For the first part of the Middle Ages, we have very, very few records. But then we start to have some records starting in the 9th century. There are things we know, in particular the hymns, so the songs, religious songs, which we know actually go back to this period around 400, 500 AD, that we consider, that historians consider as the beginning of the Middle Ages. As for the instruments, we do have some representations, especially from the Romans, for who we don't have music. We don't have musical records for the Romans. And after, we'll find records around the 8th, 9th centuries, not before. So we really have, during what is called the High Middle Ages, an absence of records. We're in a completely religious world. We're in a Christian world. And all the manuscripts we actually have are in all ways a production within a religious framework. The conception of music in the Middle Ages was a modal conception, meaning that once we're in a mode, meaning a succession of notes, I remind you that in the Middle Ages we already had a scale that we know today, that we call the Pythagorean scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, to explain simply. We're already in the scale, and once we start with a note, uh, D for example, and then we'll stay with the D, we write what seems to be interesting to write. At the beginning, we don't know why we're going to write this music, since we're completely in an environment of oral traditions. I remind you that the music in the Middle Ages is a science. It's a number being made audible. It's thanks to this number, all the proportions that musicians know. Well, we think that we can explain the world, and therefore the divine. We know the big horns, especially the olifants, notably the olifants we can find in the Louvre in Paris. Roland's famous olifants, which are in fact horns. Here we have a horn flute. It's a melody recorded at the end of the 14th century in Spain in a collection called the Libre Vermel de Montserrat that has 10 songs that were saved from the flames of Napoleon's armies that burnt the Abbey of Montserrat in the Spanish Pyrenees. A proposal for the reproduction of a double flute. So we see the musicians represented with two flutes, which obviously allows them to create polyphonies. So I'm going to perform a song for you that is attributed to Richard the Lionheart. He was imprisoned for two years and we attribute a song to him where he says that no one wants to pay his ransom that was obviously an astronomical ransom. <laughs> 